Hello, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm a friend of, I won't say the name, but I will let you know this friend and I had a lengthy direct message conversation for about four days, about a week or so ago about this person. So I was prepared, but it also consumed a ton of time. I was the one who was scammed by an imposter. Um, I follow you on OnlyFans, Instagram, and saw you on Cam Soda, but I wanted to contact you asking you if you could sign a book for me and bring it when I come to Boston. I find the reading very interesting since I had experiences like you. Then it goes into very, 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 very personal things that I just don't believe belong in my OnlyFans direct message box. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yes, pictures printed out because there's tons of pictures here. I couldn't figure out how to delete them. I was being scammed and I happened to fall in love thinking it was you. The imposter's name was Steven and he managed to make me fall in love without me knowing it wasn't you. I'm very sorry this has happened to you and me. I'm not a bad person. I'm loyal and compassionate. If you read my bio, it's now very hard for me to get rid of these feelings that I have. And now I must try to erase what I'm feeling. It's left me hurt. I have no intention on hurting you. I would like to meet you as a fan. And I would like to give you the honor of doing so. Okay, I didn't respond. Here comes another. I thought I would drop you a line and tell you about myself. Um, I'll skip over all of this. It's another um, 15, 20 minutes of reading I had to do. Okay, so... Here's where it gets good. After I had to read for days. You see many pieces of paper? Luckily, I recycle paper. Uh, dear Lisa, I have an honest question. What do you say to a woman that has fallen in love with you? Would you be intimate with me for one day? Yes or no? I'm going to reread that to you. Would you be intimate for me for one day, yes or no. Just an honest answer here would be express, would be acceptable as I prefer to be honest as well. So here's where the epiphany came in. Here's why I've realized this bothers me so much. It dehumanizes me. When people assume because of the relationship that they've had with my likeness, with my product, with me entertaining the masses, the connection that they've found, which is a one-way, one-sided connection, it dehumanizes me. It makes me an object, a thing. The example is I can be in love with a new pair of sneakers and I can buy those sneakers. They don't have to love me back. They don't have to give me consent to buy them. They are an item. They're an object. And for so many years, I've had to spend, I probably spend three hours a day, every day, at least five days a week, explaining to people why I'm not available to have sex with them. So here's the amazing part of this, is that I finally have words. I finally have a potential way to speak to people to communicate with maybe other girls in the business who, who don't know how to place the moment on this. But it really is, I don't, it's something that I can only explain as that. It makes people feel, it makes me feel that people feel that they have rights to me without my consent. And it should just be on their terms because they have something going on they feel a relationship towards me. And with that said, I should offer myself a day intimately. All intimate things should be consent by both parties. I truly believe that any time spent with somebody should be because I just choose to, not for money, not because they want to and I don't know them as if a stranger. Like, So the whole thing's bizarre, but I think I gave decent answers. This is the life I chose. Chose, chose, chose.